So the first few questions are one mark answers. Uh, the first one is which one of the following bone classifications is most suitable for weight bearing activities? So this is just about knowing the different classifications and which bones match up to which classification of bone. So what it's getting at here is that the bone most suitable for weight bearing activities, um, the bone which takes the brunt of the weight as you're standing up, are the carpals, which is basically the ankle bone. So we should know that that is a short bone, so the answer would be C, short bone. The second question, B, which one of the following is a region of the vertebral column? Again, it's about using your diagram just to make sure you know where each bone is as part of the body. Uh, so we should know the answer here is cervical, which is the upper region of the spine, just below the neck. C, which one of the following is the correct classification of the knee joint? Um, and you should know, as we've discussed earlier, that a hinge joint is something that opens and closes or allows flexion and extension. So hopefully we know that the answer is D, hinge joint. The six mark question is actually a bit of a tricky one. Uh, so the question is, examine two ways the skeletal system makes it possible for the rugby player to move into the position shown to pass the ball. So it says two ways. We've got to try and read between the lines here. And what it's really trying to say is examine two functions. So the question is asking you to think of two functions of the skeletal system. So that six mark question can actually split into, be split into two three mark questions really. Um, so first example, it uses the word move. Hopefully straight away we're thinking about the function joints for movement. So that would be your first mark saying joints for movement. We've then got to try and give an example of how a joint is helping the rugby player move into that position. So we could, for example, think about the hinge joint uh, of the knee is allowing the player to squat down. Uh, the third mark is we need to then uh, apply our knowledge to the sporting context. So in this respect, it's the sport of rugby. So we can say that the player, the player's knee is enabling her to bend down in order to get nice and low to throw an accurate pass. So that would be your three marks. The second function that I would go for uh, is another one that relates to movement and muscles, and that's muscle attachment. Um, the example we could give here, uh, if we think it's going to be uh, moving to pass the ball, we could say how the triceps are attached to the humerus. Uh, and therefore, for our final mark, we can say that when the tricep pulls on the humerus, uh, it allows the arm to move and the player to pass the rugby ball powerfully and accurately.